Hey everybody, you're watching Hyper Tiger XT. My name is Tiger, and in case you were wondering, the XT stands for. Contrary to popular belief, I do occasionally spend money on things for myself sometimes. Things like food, and clothing, and my rent, and this super awesome dinosaur that you can't see but that totally exists. And because there is a pink full moon coming up on April 21st, and that's about the closest thing to a sign there could ever be for a queer werewolf, I bought myself what I thought was a video game. Little did I know, however. Uh, let's review Street Fighter V. The fifth main entry in the incredibly popular fighter game series, Street Fighter V is the 18th Street Fighter game overall, if you don't count the crossovers. And if you do count the crossovers, it's the, um, yeah. I don't actually think that I can count that high. There isn't much to say about the base of the game that people won't already know. You join matches either against a computer opponent, someone in the same room as you, or someone somewhere far away on the internet, and proceed to watch them beat the living snot out of you as you struggle to make your controller perform a forwards quarter circle so that you can pull off the only move you actually know how to do in the whole game. It may come as a surprise to many of you, given my extreme penchant for both very cute and very strange things, but fighting games are actually one of my favourite genres of video game, and, even though I suck Mondo Hardcore, Street Fighter V is no exception. The reason for this, though, is different from the reason I enjoy, say, Mortal Kombat 10 or Injustice Gods Among Us, both perfectly pleasant, if not strikingly similar, games in their own right because even though I can perform incredibly well in online matches with Katana and her fans, and I can stomp down hard on my brother with Harley Quinn and her mallet, sometimes I just need a change of pace. I'm a sadist, it's true, but sometimes there is a masochistic itch within me that I can't scratch in any other way. I'm a fighting game Switch, and Street Fighter V is the sweet release I've been craving. When you start an online match in Street Fighter V, there is absolutely no knowing just how skilled your opponent will be. There are tales of those who claim to understand the matchmaking heuristics, sure, there are secret utterances of phrases like distance burst, approximate skill, time played, but truly, in a world where I literally just got pitted against the Jackie Chan except in Melbourne of playing Street Fighter, who can you really believe? Thankfully, the fact that the matchmaking system in this game has the same level of appropriateness as my cousin that time she tried to set me up with a girl in her year group at school isn't such a bad thing in my case, because much like those who seek to solve the mysteries of the Lament configuration in the Hellraiser film series, I actively look forward to being torn limb from limb by the metaphorical hooks a series of strangers dig into the part of my ego where video game skills lie. This game has a string of other positives too, and these are things that are probably more likely to appeal to people who don't suck quite as hard as I do. The graphics are incredibly pretty, and the PS4 handles it all brilliantly. Also, there is the ability to unlock all future DLC characters without having to actually pay actual real money for them, using some kind of credit that you earn in-game, which is pretty much one of the things that sold me on this game when I was at JB Hi-Fi the other day. I'm seriously that easy. It was either this or a deposit towards a PS Vita. People, I have no taste in anything. Save me from myself before it's too late. My thumbs are developing calluses from trying to pull off the simplest of moves. It's almost like I'm an actual person who enjoys actual outdoors type things with the way my hands are going. I can't stand it anymore. Please, come and rescue me. Make me play something soft. Ah! Hi, I'm Tiger Bailey, three babies in a trench coat, pretending to be a functioning human being. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and leave a comment telling me what other things maybe you'd like to see me review, or if you enjoyed Street Fighter V, or if you play Street Fighter V, because then maybe we can play together and you can beat me, because I guarantee you that is what would happen. Bye!